When a young boy attended the Antiques Roadshow of an old painting he purchased for only $2, many probably thought it was a waste of money. However, he was confident in his discovery, certain it was worth $150, and much to his delight, it turned out the artwork was worth a lot more. For 20 years, PBS Antiques Roadshow has been providing a valuable service to the American public by helping to identify some of the nation's most precious collector's pieces. From rare Chinese cups to important works of art, the show has wowed audiences with astonishing appraisals of valuables worth up to $1.5 million. The show requires people to bring in their antiques for appraisal. They provide all the information they have about the item before an expert evaluates it. This process allows the experts to give an accurate opinion on its worth. Often, the appraiser then gives a more thorough background on the object in question before estimating its value. David Weiss, a specialist in paintings and drawings, is a regular appraiser on the show. And as a specialist for America's oldest auction house Freemans, he takes his work extremely seriously. Undoubtedly, Weiss was astonished when he came across a small boy in 2014 while filming an episode of Antiques Roadshow. The show in question was filmed in Richmond, Virginia, and featured what Weiss guessed was the youngest collector he'd even seen. Although the boy was still quite young, he already had a lot of knowledge and experience in the antiques industry. I like glass, sterling silver and art, he told Wise, adding that the best thing he'd found was a big sterling silver tray. The youngster disclosed that his go-to spot for bargain shopping was the junkie auction in his hometown, and when he did get his hands on a hidden gem, he said he preferred to sell it online for a profit rather than keep it himself. With an old painting in his possession, he chose to visit the Antiques Roadshow. The artwork showed a young child seated at the feet of a woman who was sewing, and to the untrained eye, it just looked like any other antique picture. The young boy described how he had discovered the painting at a sale in South Jersey and decided to buy it. It was so hot there, my dad didn't want to stay to get it, but I wanted to. After a prolonged wait of an hour, the preteen could eventually secure the painting at only $2. At that particular moment, the youngster thought it might have been a watercolor painting. However, because of the glass that framed it, it was hard to tell. At the appraisal, Weiss verified that the artwork was in fact a watercolor, and he was also able to clarify a small signature in the bottom, right-hand corner of the image. Before the appraisal, the boy had only been able to identify it as Albert. It turns out Albert Nuhuis was the name. This revelation was truly electrifying. That's because Nuhuis was a 19th century painter who made a name for himself with the Laren School of Painters in the Netherlands. Nuhuis painted various scenes from everyday life at his residence in Laren, Netherlands, where he had been living for a while. His artwork depicted this village and the activities carried out there. Throughout his life, he painted local farming and weaving families in their homes and workplaces. The artist's joyous representation of common scenes caught the eye of many people, as a result leading to the sale of watercolor replicas of his artwork. This created a nice surge in his income, helping him make a substantial personal profit. Today, New High's work can be found in galleries across the world, including the Scottish National Gallery in Edinburgh and the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam. Weiss informed his young collector about New High's, enlightening them that the painter was one of the Dutch masters. He was born in 1844 and he died in 1914, I think your watercolor was probably done in the last quarter of the 19th century. He further elaborated that the depiction of a mother and her child in a domestic context was a norm in Dutch art during that period. But by this point there was presumably only one key fact the fresh-faced collector wanted to know, how much his painting was worth. When the young guy was asked how much he thought it was worth, he unhesitatingly said $150. Weiss gave his consent to this amount after discussion with the collector. I think it's worth $150, but he added, I think it's more than $150, and just how much more would come as a surprise to the boy and viewers alike. Weiss further commented that an Albert Newhouse watercolor, if put up for sale, would likely fetch between $1, thousand and $1,500. As he revealed his impressive estimate, the collector's mouth fell open in disbelief. Incredible, exclaimed the boy, throwing his hands up to his face in disbelief. Weiss nodded in agreement, 
It's definitely a lot of money. Not bad for two bucks, he added. So I think you've got a great career going as an art dealer. You should keep at it. The young collector was completely certain of his capabilities as a connoisseur after his latest discovery. No further reassurance was needed for him. I know, he said. Then, uttering a line that would earn him a legion of fans, he added, I think I'm going to be rich.